King Corvinus Matthias Hunyadi, popularly known as Matthias the Just, is remembered as a patron of the sciences, as the most virtuous Hungarian monarch, and is a beloved hero of folk tales. He ascended to the throne in the period of the Ottoman threat and during heightened political strife as the first Hungarian monarch who did not have royal ancestry. His name Corvinus is derived from the Latin word for raven, so he is also referred to as the Raven King. Matthias was born on February 23, 1443, in Cluj, Kolozsvár, as the son of the legendary general John Hunyadi and his consort Elizabeth Szilágyi, a Hungarian noblewoman. John Hunyadi led several successful military campaigns against the Ottoman Empire. The young Matthias often accompanied his father on his foreign missions. He learned the main Slavic languages, as well as German, Italian, Romanian and Latin, so he often served as the interpreter for his father on official meetings. Matthias was a ruler who had a significant impact not only on Hungarians but also on other European nations and not only on account of his military victories but also of his efforts to encourage education, the Renaissance culture and the dissemination of humanist thought. It was during his reign that Hungary experienced its greatest territorial extension the country's borders stretched as far as the present-day Germany in the west, Silesia in the north, the Carpathian Mountains in the east, and Dalmatia in the south. King Matthias was fascinated by the achievements of the Italian Renaissance, which he promoted in Hungary. palaces in Buda and in Visegrad were constructed during his reign. In accordance with the customs of the time, he created an immense library exceeding 2,000 books. This was the famous Bibliotheca Corviniana, considered the most important collection of codices after that of the Vatican during King Matthias's time. In addition to sculpture, painting and poetry, Matthias also supported and encouraged the development of astronomy and astrology.
The royal court in Buda was visited by Italian scientists who would praise King Matthias and his accomplishments throughout Europe. The virtuous king recognized that the barons and the dignitaries of the clergy had excessive privileges and strived to protect the serfs against their abuses through socially just legislations. There are several legends surrounding the iconic image of King Matthias and he is the main hero of many folk tales. Here is an example. The Judge of Cluj In King Matthias' times, lords had great power over serfs, whom they made to work without pay from daybreak to dusk. When the latter demanded their wages, they were frequently punished with lashes. The virtuous monarch wanted to see with his own eyes whether these abuses were indeed taking place. So one day, disguised as a peasant, he paid a visit to the judge of Cluj. He asked for work in exchange for payment. He was put in charge of cutting down trees, which he accepted. completed, he asked the judge for his payment. But instead of receiving the compensation, he was ordered to be whipped 25 lashes. Then the judge gave him some more work to do. Once Matthias accomplished this as well, he wrote on the cut pieces of wood, King Matthias passed by. Then he returned to his palace. The next morning, dressed in his royal attire, he mounted his carriage and returned to the village to see the judge. He asked him whether the peasants were being treated well. The judge responded that they had never been treated better. Matthias then asked him to accompany him for a walk on the estate. When they got to the pile of wood he had cut down the previous day, he stopped and asked who had done such an excellent job and how much they had been paid. The judge said that it had been the work of a peasant and that he had done it out of love and respect for him. Matthias then pointed to the pieces of wood with the text, King Matthias passed by. Then he said, I was the one who cut up this wood yesterday, and instead of getting paid, I was whipped 25 times. Now it's your turn to be punished for not treating the peasants well and for lying to me. With these words, he sentenced the judge to 50 lashes.